Is my trip IPO? Does your ticket to prosperity lies with the travel portal? The 510 crore rupees IPO of Is my trip has kicked off from today and will remain open till March 10th. The issue is a pure offer for sale from two principal promoters, Nishant Pitti and Rikant Pitti, who are offloading 2.7 crore shares equivalent to 25% shareholding in the company. The company offers end-to-end -end travel solutions, which includes air tickets, hotels, holiday packages, rail tickets and bus tickets, as well as ancillary value-added services. It is ranked second amongst key OTAs in India based on booking volumes for 9M to FY21. The online travel agency's market has increased at a CAGR of 20 to 22 percent during FY15 to FY20 on account of increased internet penetration, growing awareness and comfort with online transactions, competitive pricing, etc. COVID will further improve the penetration. The share of OTA is expected to increase to 58 to 60 percent by FY23 from 47 to 49 percent in FY15. Ease My Trip is a rare example of an online travel company that combines growth with profitability. The company has given an option of no convenience fees charged from its clients, which has helped them to retain a huge section of them. A combination of low-cost model, client loyalty through no service charge has resulted in the profitable journey so far. Economic Fundamentals The company recorded highest growth of 47% in terms of gross booking revenue during FY18 to FY20, outperforming its peers by a wide margin. In FY20, the company saw 32.3% and 176.7% year-on-year growth in air and hotel segments respectively. The company has survived the pandemic with air tickets booked on its platform in December 20, reaching 76% and 34% of December 19 levels in domestic and international segment respectively. Majority of tickets are sold directly to retail, followed by agents who in turn sells to retail and a small percentage is sold through tie-ups with marquee corporates. 86% of its customers are repeat customers and company attributes the same to its low-cost and superior service standards. Despite a fall in revenue, the company has managed to book an operating profit of 43.4 crore rupees in the first nine months of FY20 on the back of a huge decline in expenses despite its revenue has fallen substantially. Risk factors and sticking points But therein lies the question as to how the company managed to make its operating profit jump by 53% and increase of 25 percentage points. And how did it bring down the expenses? The company has contingent liability amounting to 126 crore rupees, which is high seen in the context of its scale of operations. Another major concern is the role that Prashant Pitti, one of the promoters, will assume after the company goes public. Pitti is projected as the key person running the show but has many a skill that is 0.5% shareholding in the company and earns a lower remuneration compared to other promoters. The prospects also suggest the company funding movie production and other business operation of promoter entities in the past. While post-listing, it may get harder to indulge in non-related activities, it does raise questions about the credibility of the promoters. Now, whether to subscribe or not to subscribe, despite on a market cap to sales basis compared to all other global players, this issue is at a premium. The valuation still appears steep. Therefore, smart investors should pocket the listing gains and wait on the sideline as the valuation clearly is sky high for a company of this size.